Hey everyone, Ryan here. Today, I've got something pretty exciting to share with you. Have you ever felt stuck with your phone because it's locked to a specific carrier? You know when you can't use another network's SIM card, especially when you travel or want to switch carriers? That's exactly what we're tackling in today's video. Sprint Phone Unlock Tutorial, Breaking Free from Carrier Lock. I remember when I first faced this issue. I was about to travel abroad and realized my phone wouldn't work with any local SIM cards. Frustrating, right? But don't worry, I've figured it all out, and I'm here to help you do the same. We're going to explore multiple ways to remove this annoying carrier lock, also known as SIM lock. And for my iPhone users, we're specifically diving into that dreaded SIM not supported message. So sit back, grab your phone, and let's break free from these carrier constraints together. Just a heads up, this info is only for responsible use. It's for folks who actually own their phones and just want to switch carriers. We're not here to support illegal stuff, like messing with stolen phones. Always play by the rules and respect others' rights. Our video follows YouTube's rules and community standards. All right, with that said, let's move on. So, you know, these unlock services mainly work in first world countries. If you can't access them or prefer not to use them, we've got a sweet deal for you. Every week, we offer 250 unlocks to our viewers. Want them? Here's what you need to do. Like this video. Subscribe to our channel. Comment down below with your phone model, like Samsung S22, a eh? your IMEI number, and your country. That's it. You're automatically entered into our weekly draw as soon as you complete these steps. Good luck. To get started with Carrier Switcher, head over to their website at carrierswitcher.com. Once you're there, look for a green button to begin the process. Clicking this will take you to the Online Carrier Unlocker app. The first thing you'll need to do is enter your name and email address. This is how they'll assign the order to you, so make sure you use a real email. You'll receive a confirmation code at this email, which is essential for the next steps. After you've entered your details, you'll be prompted to select the manufacturer of your device, like Samsung or Apple. This helps ensure the service is tailored to your specific phone. Next up is entering your phone's IMEI number. If you're not sure how to find this, it's pretty simple. On most modern phones, you can find the IMEI number by dialing star hashtag 06 hashtag or checking in the phone settings under About Phone. Before moving on, you'll need to confirm that you're acting in accordance with Carrier Switcher's terms of service. This includes a verification that you're not attempting to unlock stolen property. Once you've done that, tap Continue to finalize the process. You'll see a confirmation on the screen that your unlock is ready and Carrier Switcher will also send you a confirmation email. In this email, you'll find instructions and an access key. This key is what you'll use to start your order. The great thing about this access key is that you can use it as many times as you like for unlimited downloads. For detailed instructions on how to use the access key, just follow the steps provided on the page. This will guide you through the rest of the process. If you're looking for other ethical and legal ways to remove the carrier lock from your phone, you've got a few options to consider. One common method is to directly contact your carrier. Most carriers will unlock your phone for free if you've completed your contract or paid off the phone. To start this process, you can call your carrier's customer service or visit their website. They'll usually ask for your account details and the phone's IMEI number. Remember, each carrier has its own set of policies and timeframes for unlocking, so it's a good idea to check with them for specific requirements. Another route is using third-party unlocking services. These are companies that specialize in unlocking phones. When choosing this option, it's crucial to pick a reputable service to ensure the process is both legal and safe. They typically charge a fee, and prices can vary depending on your phone model and the network it's locked to. Make sure to read reviews and check their credibility before proceeding. If you've bought a second-hand phone that's locked, reaching out to the previous owner is another viable solution. They can request the unlock from the carrier if they were the original owner and if the phone was not reported lost or stolen. Remember, while these methods are legal and ethical, the success and ease of unlocking can vary based on your phone model, the carrier, and the terms of your contract. Always ensure you're following the legal route and respecting the terms of service agreements you've entered into with your carrier or phone manufacturer. Thanks for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more useful guides. And if everything worked out for you, or if you have any questions, don't hesitate to drop a comment below. 
We love hearing from you and are here to help with any queries you might have. See you in the next video.